Despite Treasury's medium-term budget deficit target of 5.4%, the shortfall continues to be a moving target. In the current fiscal year, Treasury was to trim the deficit to 5.9%, but this now appears to be off target. According to the second supplementary budget tabled in Parliament on Wednesday, Treasury is facing a deficit of 836 billion shillings as revenue slips due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. With just two months before the end of the fiscal year 2019-2020, Kenya Revenue Authority is staring at 132 billion shillings loss in ordinary revenue. The report has reallocated more than 51 billion shillings in an effort to cushion the public from the impact of the coronavirus. Parliament recommends that 10 billion shillings be transferred to cushion the vulnerable in the society through the Inua Jamii Safety Net. We are aware that very few of us, very few Kenyans, are in formal employment and therefore those who are going to benefit are largely not so much. Mr. Speaker, but it is going to improve their purchasing power. Three billion shillings will go to as the construction of a 300-bed isolation facility at the Kenyatta University Referral Hospital, while 600 million shillings has been set aside to compensate health personnel who are offering specialized treatment to coronavirus patients. The Kenyatta National Hospital will also receive 140 million shillings to set up a care center for medical personnel who fall sick attending to COVID-19 patients. We would seek to get whatever we can get from people who are in employment and earning to help those who are either out of employment or vulnerable. They have nothing at all. The funds have been slashed from the National Assembly vote at 2.2 billion shillings, the Parliamentary Joint Services vote of 750 million shillings, while the Senate vote was reduced by 274 million shillings, to go to as the COVID-19 fund. We must use our emergency fund in the CDF. Our women rev should use the emergency fund. We must look for those very vulnerable members of our society. The legislators, however, rejected Treasury's proposal to slash 10 billion shillings from the National Government Constituency Development Fund, saying constituencies have almost exhausted their allocations. The process of concluding the approved estimates is now expected to end next week during consideration and approval of the Supplementary Appropriations Bill 2020.